Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for coming to my presentation. Today I'm going to speak about uh, unmanned aerial vehicles, or also UAVs, or even simply drones. So, if we take a look at the modern technology developments in general, we will see that it's just a novel idea followed by a breakthrough in the very beginning. Uh, generally, it's made by a leading inventor company. And later, numerous satellite companies are organized around the general one, providing various services and solutions based on already existing technology and helping to moving it forward, of course. So uh, the same was with uh, radio, television, computers, internet, and smartphones. Uh, but you might ask, why drones? Why is it so important today? You can see here, this is a very hot topic at the moment. And drones are extremely great unlimited tools which never seen before because with them you can do the tasks which were very difficult to solve earlier and uh, probably the tasks couldn't be solved before at all. So let's take a look at the drone. Let's take a look at various uh, kind of technologies. Uh, do we need for them? So first of all, this is uh, the batteries. We need high capacity and lightweight batteries for a long time flight. But with 20, 30 minutes flight time, this is sort of all right at the moment. What else do we need? We also need the airframes. The airframes are also possible with uh, light carbon fiber materials. So this is sort of easy as well. Another thing we need are the flight controllers or autopilots. With the uh, high capacity of uh, intelligence, it's possible to create high level autonomous systems which are very easy to control for everybody and for everyone. Uh, but you might ask another question. So what would happen if there are too many drones in the air? What if everybody has it? This is sort of uh, a new question and nobody has an answer for that and we do not have any existing technologies at the moment. So this is what I'm going to speak about today. And also this is quite hot because everybody has a new opportunity to be into that and to influence the future. So I have a question for you. So what is a drone? I wouldn't answer this question myself, so let's take a look at uh, what Wikipedia said instead. So a drone or unmanned aerial vehicle, this is an aircraft without a human pilot on board. So drones are originated mostly for military applications and for surveillance. But turns out that currently drones are much more, they have much more applications. For example, they can be used for surveillance, uh, agriculture operations, uh, search and rescue operations, delivery, uh, and, so, and, and so on. So there is a huge amount of operations which possible with drones. Also, it turns out that there are very various in their size and weight. And the smallest one is just five centimeters and can be on the palm of your head. And the biggest one probably weighs 200 kilos and even can carry a human. So there is a huge variety with them. Let's take a look at the recent market trends. So we can see here that the most important segment of the market today is consumer drones. And we can see that it's capitalization almost $1 billion just by 2015. And it vastly outnumbers military drones with just 88 millions, and currently it's even 10 times more. So the most widely spread type of a drone is a quadcopter. A quadcopter is a multi-rotor helicopter which has uh, four propeller propellers, and uh, it's lifted by it, and it also has very simple airframe. Uh, also, it has a flight control system, but the main thing is uh, it has two pairs of identically fixed pitch propellers, two clockwise and two counterclockwise, and independent variation of the speed of each rotor helps achieving the desired attitude around each axis, roll, pitch, and yaw. But the main thing is still the flight control system, which uh, has sensors, processor, and intelligence. So this amount of intelligence allows to perform autonomous flight of the vehicle and therefore requiring less and less skills from operator or even without the presence of an operator. This leads us to the world of the new opportunities, both uh, business and technology. So why all this possible now? Why we couldn't see this kind of technology, let's say, for example, or 10 or 15 years ago? So it all becomes possible with the recent developments in electronics. So we have very tiny sensors and processors which have enough computational power. And uh, if we take a look at market trends with drones, we can see that there are uh, huge exponential growth of the number of the companies using them. And currently we have uh, market capitalization of almost $1 billion just by 2015. And uh, 
Has anyone, like, uh, who, who can imagine that we have any another uh, area of technology that we have the same trend? So if we take a look here, we can see that just by 2000 year, we had only like 10 or 20 people of uh, 100 having a smartphone or having an internet connection, and it was very low. But currently, it's almost uh, 97, meaning that everyone has a smartphone. So we have exactly the same trends with drones at the moment, and this is also very important. So I have a question for you. So who, can, who, who knew before what drone is actually? Please uh, raise your hand if you say yes, answering my question. All right, that's good. Uh, the next question would be, uh, who has ever seen a flying drone? Please raise your hands. Perfect, lots of people. <laughs> uh, the next question is, uh, who has ever flown a drone himself or herself? Please, your hands. Well, that's good. And finally, who is a drone owner? Who has a drone? Wow, perfect. So this is actually what I'm going to say here. Uh, that there is a great possibility that today we are the same with drones as with smartphones 15 years ago. So probably there is a chance of 90 or even 100% of the people in this room having a smartphone in just maybe five, maybe 10 years. So it's all possible. But the main question would be here, uh, how to handle that? Because if we use a smartphones or if everybody starts talking on that at the moment or using a messenger, it wouldn't make any issues because everybody like uh, has a phone and uh, the network can handle that load easily. So that's not a problem. And the audience would not interfere each other, except it would be maybe a little bit diff difficult for me to speak because uh, we will start talking. So please don't do this. This is just as an example. But what, what with drones? What if everybody goes outside or doesn't go outside and start flying? So the aerospace is not segregated and it can cause very uncontrolled behavior outside. So this is important uh, and we need to regulate that. Let's take a look at how the rules are organized today. The great example are the rules from FAA. This is Federal Aviation Administration of the United States of America. And uh, here is the rules stated officially by the government. So the main one is you need to fly the vehicle only on a special, special field, like our model aircraft field or quadcopters field. Another reason also means that you have to take lessons before you start flying if you do not know how to do this. So you need to be and know how to do this. Also, if you are planning to fly closer than five miles to the airport, this is approximately eight kilometers, you need to contact the tower and uh, let the airport know about this. And the main aspect here at the moment is that you can fly the vehicle only for your personal enjoyment. And it's strictly prohibited to fly for commercial purposes unless you do not have a special permission for that. So what you are not allowed to do, you do not allow to fly near uh, manned aircraft. This is, of course, for safety reasons. Also, you are not allowed to fly beyond line of sight. So in this case, everybody knows that you are in contact with operator and the drone and operator are sort of visually connected. Also, you are not to fly uh, the vehicle which weighs more than 55 pounds. This is approximately 25 kilos. This is also for security reasons. And also, as I said before, you are not allowed to fly for commercial purposes. You can see that these rules are very difficult to control because just difficult to control and that's why they are so strict. So I would like to propose a solution and uh, our idea on how to handle that. First of all, each drone should have 4G network connection. This is sort of easy at the moment because we have uh, wireless connection uh, in highly populated areas and definitely the area is going to be more and more uh, huge in the future. In this case, drone has an opportunity to communicate with the ground and uh, send all the data required for the operator and for control center. Also, it has a mission inside. Also, it has all information about the operator and it has all flight parameters available. In this case, we have a sort of a cloud with all the vehicles tracked online and uh, available at the server. Uh, this is sort of a tower at the airport, but on a, on a global scale. Also, the system will have uh, various account types. The first one is for private organization and for uh, just uh, private people where they can uh, create the flight plan and go outside flying. Another account type would be for authority organizations which are controlling the flight and issuing the permissions. So let's take a look at the most typical use case. So if someone wants to, to create a mission, he firstly creates the flight plan and then he sends it to the server or it can be done even automatically. Later it passes all checks that can be done autonomously 
for weather, other flight traffic control, and uh, probably e e ongoing events on the ground, and so on. So this is what uh, people firstly do. Later, uh, if everything is fine and the mission is uh, confirmed, the vehicle is ready for takeoff, and it's going outside to perform the mission. If something is wrong or mission cannot be performed, in this case, uh, the operators and in control center give special suggestions on how to properly fix the mission and how to make that possible. And if uh, it's all right after it uh, changes, then you're allowed to fly as well. So we can say for sure that today drones are definitely a hot topic and uh, its presence still increasing and increasing. And for sure, I can say that the number of the drones will be much more in the future and uh, the number of applications will be increased. And uh, it's very unlikely that the humanity will stop using drones because there are lots of tasks which couldn't have been solved before without them. And some of them are still very difficult to solve without them. So this is very important also on how to regulate that. And I think that my idea is kind of a solution for that. And it makes possible to create drones easy, accessible, and safe for all, for everyone. Thank you.